a couple of friends have given me their dead uh, batteries from their uh, power tools, cordless. Um, I've got uh, three of them here, and I've already taken apart this one. We are going to take these apart, see what uh, they've got, if there's any salvageable uh, cells in them, 18650s. Um, I've got my tools here. Uh, all the tools uh, items are uh, linked below. So these are, uh, this is a torque uh, screwdriver. Um, and I got a packet of them from Amazon. Uh, they're the security variety with a little hole in the center. So they're hard to get to um, on some of the packs. Now some of them like these, the screws are easily available and uh, you can uh, get to them easy with just any kind of uh, star security um, point, but uh, these are recessed in, and you've got to use a, a thin uh, arm to get down into that hole and, and get a hold of them. So I'm going to pull these apart. You can see uh, it's pretty well corroded and rusted on this smaller pack. Um, the chip looks good. Uh, some of this might be salvageable for some project later plug-in for a battery pack. Um, I notice on this one there's got a bunch of rust down here and some corrosion in there. Um, We'll see how those work. And this one's a little different setup. This is pretty nice looking. Don't know what was wrong with that. But um, I'll pull these out and we'll start pulling apart the batteries. You can see that some of the batteries are in better shape than others. This looks pretty good. Um, this looks a little bit worse. A lot of dirt and stuff on it. And this looks uh, pretty bad. But we'll see. We'll clean them up, uh, pull them apart, and we'll test them. Out of those three packs, my guess is that two of them are sh were shot and uh, the batteries won't be any good. Um, the one has some possibilities. So uh, I'm going to test them with a voltmeter just to see. Okay, with uh, further testing, um, we've got uh, seven batteries here that have proven to be no good. Uh, I've got another one here that may be no good. Um, it seems to have lost the charge down to, just let it set, it came down to 3.12 or something. So I'm charging it again. Um, I've got the good batteries here, here, and here. Uh, what was surprising to me was the, um, these, the prettiest batteries were had the most uh, bad ones. You might be, uh, this one might be bad. So one, say one in this uh, group, one in this group, and six in this one. 
And right now, I'm running a test on these three different types of batteries. Um, so they all started out at about uh, uh, 4.15 uh, volts. I'm doing a discharge on it. Um, we'll be measuring the uh, milliamp hours as we're drawing down here. And uh, we'll see if uh, they are all very similar or whether there's a difference. Good morning. This finished up uh, last night, uh, my test. And I, I wanted to show you these results here of those three different types of uh, batteries, or at least from three different sources. Uh, we get a good uh, demonstration of the different qualities in the batteries. So this green one is uh, 1.491 amp hour battery. Uh, this is a 2.363 amp hour battery, and this is a 1.411 battery. So these two are very similar. Um, and this is a lot better. Now this is a Samsung, so like the name brands, you can expect a better battery. Um, and I don't know what these are. So finally, I want to show you these uh, Bruzen uh, plastic end caps. Uh, you don't need to solder these guys. You just uh, slip them on uh, your, your 18650s. Uh, they're color-coded, so you can put uh, the red on the positive and blue on the negative, so you know which is which. Make sure you're right on this. Um, and then you can build your packs, your different packs. Um, really handy for me. I learned so much uh, from this. I put together using nine uh, of my salvage cells uh, for each pack, uh, put together three different, very different batteries. So I've got a, a four volt battery pack here, uh, nine batteries, they're all parallel. Uh, and then this is both parallel and series. Um, and so this is a 12 volt and a 36 volt battery here. Um, and just the process of doing that, I learned so much. Uh, I've made some mistakes, put the battery in backwards. Uh, you, you can test as you go along with your meter. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out is I'm just getting started. Uh, and you can get very uh, started. And it's fairly cheap to have this kind of stuff and uh, pretty exciting to learn uh, for under 100 bucks. This is uh, like 35 dollars with the eight or nine dollar shipping. Really cool uh, kits. Um, this is like seven bucks. This was 12. I've seen it as low as eight. Um, these are 10 bucks and this is a, a 35. Uh, less than a hundred bucks for this. Uh, I've got links below. If you click on those and purchase any of this then I get a small a fee for that but uh, you might be able to find them cheaper you can do that if you've got some of this equipment already you're that much further ahead um, if you're giving it to kids especially young ones with their electric skateboards and stuff you might just give them enough to get started uh, with a like a nine pack or two or three uh, get them used to handling and the hazards of it uh, in putting together this one i messed up and put the battery in backwards and with my testing I, I could figure out which one that was it's a little bit scary to me um, but it's a great experience you can get them started a little early uh, and help them figure things out do all kinds of projects that wraps it up thanks a lot for watching clear through to the end i appreciate that um I have a link to my blog uh, down below. It's got a uh, itemized list of, of the other videos I've made. Subscribe to this video channel. Um, I appreciate it. Click on the links. I appreciate that. Until next time, this is Mediocre Man, and I've been wrong before.